So here we've got our rectangle of gold glitter cloth. Mine's not glitter because I very stupidly did not did not take anything out of stock for myself um, for the demonstration. So what I'm going to do is put the short ends together. Now this is 27 centimetres by 50, the same size as the satin for the skirt. And we're just going to join that into a tube. There we go. So that's now joined into a tube. And what I want you to do is popping the, the seam on the middle. I want you to open that seam out. Okay, flat and give it a good press. And then when you've done that, what you want to do with the iron is you want to press up one centimeter all the way around and then another centimeter all the way around because what you're going to do is then pop that in the machine to hem this piece. Now with the satin, we're not making a tube. We are going to leave it open for da, 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 our asymmetric split. You can see a bit of the wool from my gathering there. Oh well. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our iron and on the wrong side of the satin, on the long edge, we're going to turn up whoops get you in focus we're going to turn up one centimeter on the bottom and another centimeter on the bottom and iron that okay and then when you've got that in place pop it under the machine and so sew, sew that bottom hem all the way along Mine's rubbish because I haven't ironed it. Yours will be much neater. So we'll get that going. I can't stress ironing it enough. I know I'm being a really poor example of doing it without pressing it, but um, pressing really is the key to dressmaking. And it's and soft furnishings. You should press every step of your project, regardless of if it says press or not. Actually, I mean, I even I even uh, press my fabric before I make something for myself. I'll also press the pattern to make sure I'm getting accurate cutting. It is a bit of a bore, but um, it really does make a difference in the finish. So next time you make something, do that and see if you uh, think you've improved your end result. Because I guarantee you, you will. Right, so we've done a quick hem. And again, press it. And then what we're going to do is on each of the raw short sides, we are going to fold in. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take off those excess threads first. What we're going to do is we're going to fold in one centimeter again fold in another centimeter again this is so that the edge has a nice clean fold rather than an open bit the open bit can go at the bottom quite happily um, and then we're going to just stitch that into place I wish I'd started on the other side now but there we go right so I'll just trim mine up so that I can do that so one centimetre, two centimetres, under the machine. Now, you might find it easier to just pop it under there before you get the foot down using a small pair of scissors or a pair of tweezers. And you're just going to sew that hem there, that seam. Can't get it moving, pull the threads at the back. There we go. Yours is ironed. I'm a terrible person. Right, so we've done that both sides. 
let's pretend for the purposes of demonstration we've done both sides. Now my rectangle was a little bit shorter than yours because again I did not leave myself enough of the satin to do the demonstration because I was so keen on getting them out in the post and we've had to do you know several of them. Um, so we're going to put the braid on now 